The roots of my art are the ancient form of Japanese brush painting. In parallel with the brush painted core, my artworks have a conceptual environment inside which the paintings live. To build these environments, I have wounded my paintings with rifles, sent pieces of them into space, and created labyrinths of broken mirrors upon them, all to create a new, poetic, cerebral reality inside which the black inked brushstrokes could live. The new techniques I'm exploring deal with the intersection of ink painting, mirrors, and light, and were recently presented at my exhibition at the 2012 annual meeting in Davos. A great next generation leader will also know how and when to be an exceptional follower. They will have the experience of being a great follower already underneath their belt. In today's media and star obsessed culture, the art of followership has been lost, but it's really essential and it's non-trivial. Particularly America is entrenched with a star culture where it seems there's only room for one great leader, for one number one. Following is assumed to be for the sheep, for the B and C team players. But social change requires great leading as well as great following. Who would Martin Luther King Jr. or Nelson Mandela be without their followers? Or great business leaders like Jack Welch, Sam Walton, Henry Ford, would they have the same impact or influence without their followers or protégés? In fact, great corporations like Walmart have made a point of promoting people from the bottom because they've had the experience of following as well as leading. So the next great generation of leaders will have a deep experience and understanding of what it means to follow. Because social, business, and cultural change is a dance. And if you want to be an expert dancer, you have to know the leading parts as well as the following parts. So to enable this change, what we really need to do is remove the cultural stigma that's associated with following. We need to rediscover the honor and glory of following a great idea uh, and get away from a going through the motions, nine to five, hired gun mentality, and embrace a great idea as if it's our own. Seven billion people on this planet, how are we going to feed them? Financial interdependency and volatility, global warming, pandemics. Today's problems are increasing exponentially in their complexity. Why are these problems so tough? They're tough precisely because traditional approaches have failed. We need a hyper boost of creativity right now. We need our brains to work on a new level of inventiveness as we try to tackle these tough problems. I believe that art, with its ability to stimulate the imagination and break the chains of traditional thinking, is uniquely positioned to help us come up with new approaches to these tough problems. Not necessarily artists coming up with solutions, although geniuses like Picasso and Leonardo da Vinci did in their day. In the contemporary world, Art should serve as a creativity coach for our imaginations as we bring our best thinking to these tough problems. Art should step up and stimulate our imaginations to help us think big and think differently. I think a work of art should short circuit your logic and feasibility for a moment to provoke you to dream, to imagine, and to come up with a new solution. In the works of art that I'm currently creating, I'm trying to put the viewer in that state of mind. I'd like to bring forth the cultural voice of YGL to make sure that art and culture are part of the discussions as we brainstorm the solutions. I'd like to stimulate the creativity in those discussions by bringing artistic inspiration. I hope that we can serve as bridges between and across each other and into our respective communities. I hope that we can serve as resources for each other and support each other. From the YGLs, as with the broader WEF community. I hope to continue to get creative inspiration and to discover new and diverse voices and conversations and new friends who can push my thinking and creative vision.